Uh, what's the difference going to be between the carbon wheel and then the regular wheel? Do you remember? It was almost 11 pounds. Yeah, and then you start rotating that, you know, that weight. Yeah. It's one of those upgrades that you're going to feel immediately. So the video guys today we have this 2023 road glide cbo and guess what got some brand new shoes on the bike carbon wheels this guy's crazy this guy's insane already carbon wheels on a new cbo um what the hell dude listen i mean it was a no-brainer they look great yeah they look great they look awesome on this bike they look absolutely awesome i, I almost feel it. like they should have come with the bike i know <laughs> They look so good, dude. All right, so um, really quick, the, were these the ones, you swapped them over from your 21 CBO to this one, right? Yeah, it was a no-brainer. So that's why I said it was a no-brainer. So the, the 21 CBO came with spoked wheels like this came mm -hmm. with, right? Which and is uh, the same wheel, it's just that one comes with a 20 inch. 21. 20, yeah. what, 21 Correct. inch, this one comes with a 19 inch. Right, which I prefer the 19 inch anyway. Yeah, so. all day, all day. After swapping it over, well, I, anyway, I had the idea, let me swap these over, because just picking this bike off the side stand, you realize what a difference it is and how much lighter it is after Harley revised it. Mm. And I was like, hmm. 30, 35 pounds lighter yeah. than the older bottle. Right. So, factor in the wheels. I remember when I got the carbon wheels on my previous generation Road Glide and how I lifted that up off the stand. I was like, oh, big difference. Do talk about that. Do you know the weight difference? Because people are going to ask, well, what's the difference going to be between the carbon wheel and then the regular wheel? Do you remember? It was no? almost 11 pounds. Me, really? and, uh, me and Mike over at Torque weighed them, and it's almost 11 pounds difference, which is what. And that was, just, that was just the front wheel. Sure. Sure. Lot, that was yeah. the front wheel, if I recall correctly. Um, you know, it, it, in the grand scheme of things, you know, you pick up a 10 or 11 pound dumbbell or something that weighs 11 pounds, you probably don't think it's a big deal, but when it... When you pick up a 20 pound dumbbell compared to the 10, it's... It's, it's a huge, it's a huge difference. difference. Right. But now... Not saying we can't lift, you heard? <laughs> Ride and lift coming soon. You can tell it's a huge difference. Yeah, and then you start rotating that, you know, that weight. Start, yeah. You know, it's like somebody throwing a 20 pound dumbbell at you. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> You're going to feel that in your chest. So, you know... I, uh, I was like, you know what, let me let me switch these over. Um, I know the other bike's going to look good with the wired wheels. I'm like, I'd like to see what this looks like with the carbon fiber wheels. And it looks sick. Dude. It looks, yeah, I, it looks I mean, awesome. personally, I love it. That looks awesome. So, well, really quick before we keep going, if, if you're wondering if you could do any swaps on the other bike to this bike, you obviously can. Did you have to do anything different on this one? Change any parts out? Or anything? No, there was uh, nothing. The only thing was that we had to, uh, I believe Mike had to, uh, drill out the uh, the wheel where the where the valve stem goes a few millimeters because these I believe these are slightly bigger if I'm not mistaken so that was it that was it other than that the axles transferred over everything transferred over no problem rotors onto the hubs uh, the axles were you know they were fine no issue there so overall you know it was just one two three for the most part nice um, now. The big thing here, carbon fiber. You feel it on acceleration. Like I've said, I've said this before. You know, talking about the reason why. Yeah. Well, when when I took your when the wheels were on your other bike and I took it out, which I'm probably gonna be linking that video towards the end. You guys are gonna uh, see me doing that little test ride. I mean, the the, the bike felt super light. Yeah. You know, it, if if I, I, I'm I'm pretty sure it was a combination of suspension. You know, the way it felt. But also the wheels, they just so super light, just riding it, it, it feels awesome. It's dramatically different, um, which is crazy because, you know, again, not saying that it's a better upgrade than other upgrades, I'm just saying it's one of those upgrades that you're going to feel immediately. You're going to feel it in the nimbleness of the bike, you're going to feel it in the acceleration of the bike, and it's it's just one of those things, like if you did a tune to the bike, you're going to yeah. feel it. Yeah. You do a cam or a big board kick, 
you're going to feel it. So it's one of those things. It's one of those things. You know, again, not to say that it's better than or that you're going to feel it more than, but it is something that when you spend that kind of money, Bro, you want to feel it. This is elite, though. Yeah. Like, you, you, you got carbon wheels on your bike? That's elite. I mean, I just, I had to do something different. I, I hadn't seen anybody really doing it, and I was like, I gotta try and be the first one. You're 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 one of the the one percent. When I talk about one percent, I'm talking about you know the elite, the top. Yeah, yeah. You're a part of that one percent. Minus the bank account. <laughs> <laughs> um, so so for those out there wondering, what's a wheel setup like? This is gonna cost them if you're if you can afford two of them, the um, front and the rear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So you look. I mean, I, I paid about mounted balance, labor, new tires, everything, ceramic wheel bearings. Everything, I mean, listen, you can get steel wheel burns, but why are you going to spend this type of money on a carbon fiber wheel? Nah, it's got to be brand new. Right, so, never... you know, to go with steel wheel burns. So I did everything the best that I could, that I could afford, obviously, and it came out to about $6,400, guys. It wasn't cheap. Um, <laughs> it wasn't cheap. And my girl wasn't too happy about That's it. That's like Vossens for, like, if I want to get Vossens for my car. Yeah. Those are four wheels. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, only you get four instead of two. But, uh, I mean, let me tell you, I'm, I'm super happy I did it. They look phenomenal. I was a huge fan of them when they were on your bike. Yeah. <clears throat> I think they look even better on this bike now. They look awesome. Yeah. It, it's just, and it's, it, it's great. I mean, the, the five-star design, amazing. Carbon fiber. I am a fan. You're winning. You're winning, my boy. I am a fan. You are winning. Um, anything that people should know about the wheels, I know these are carbon fiber. So, I mean, we live in Jersey, guys. The the, the roads over here, they terrible. suck. They're terrible. terrible. So, it, it's just taking the extra measure when you're out there riding to really try to avoid. I mean, we always try to avoid potholes when we're on a bike. But you got to be, you got to have that extra precaution now to make sure that, that you're not going to crack one of these things. Yeah. I mean, listen, I've been told that they'll handle it, this, that, and the other. I got news for you. I don't want to test the theory. I can't <laughs> I afford to. I'll, I'll not at that better. price. I can't afford to test not, the theory. Not, not at that price. It's not, it's not like you have time wear protection for these. Yeah, no, there's no, no, there's no time. To, I mean, they send you a whole, you know, paperwork, the date that they were created, the date that these wheels were born, so to speak, yeah. and all that. And I'm when sure were you born? They're, me? Yeah. I'm an old bro. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> you know, the, the, at the end of the day, like you said, you don't have wheel and tire protection. Yeah. Make the extra effort to avoid the the potholes. Yeah. So if, if you guys are in the market, you want to get these on your uh, other road glide, this road glide, the street glide, whatever it is that you have, be very extra, extra, extra careful out there because they're they're they're, they're not cheap. They're not cheap. They're not cheap. I, I mean I've I've been wanting them for a while. Did I tell you that a few months back? I, I was talking to Peanut too, and I'm like, we're talking about wheels and everything. I'm like, dude, like, I literally have the wheels in my cart right now. I, got, I, I was about to buy them. Wow. And then I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, you know what? It's, it's, it's one of those late night purchases where you're in your bed, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. And you're like, let me sleep on it, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I woke up the next day, I'm like, thank God, I didn't fucking order them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, nah, nah, not right now. Been and there, I, done that. Maybe in the future, but they're 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 awesome. If if you can afford them, guys. Get them. They look great. You only live once. You only live once. You only Just live saying. once. Just saying. Don't hey. live like I do. <laughs> Don't live like he does. Anyways, that's going to be it, guys. Just wanted to show you guys the wheels. Let me know what you guys think about them. Would this be an upgrade that you're going to be doing to your bikes? Will it not? Let us know down below. And if you're not yet following me, subscribe. And if you're not yet subscribed over to this guy, head over to his channel, Bad Reason BS. I'm going to be linking his link down below. A lot of more content coming. Stay tuned. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace!